Hello everybody, happy October. My name is Kate Fakel and welcome to Craft Beer Fridays. Today I have a special guest with me, AKA the photographer of the day. Her name is Amanda D'Amelio. And if you hear a shutter sound in the background, that's why, because she You're is guilty. photographing me today while <laughs> I'm videoing myself. I am going to be doing a comparison of Fran's Oktoberfest, which is from Cincinnati, Ohio. This goes at 5.4% alcohol by volume. Boogie Tooth Imperial Pumpkin from Fat Heads Brewing. It goes at 9% and they are located in North Olmsted, Ohio. Funky Pumpkin by Boulevard and they are from Kansas City, Missouri. 5.8% alcohol by volume. On to the next one. I thought I would throw in just like a basic one for you guys. Some Blue Moon Coors Light Brewing Company. They are located in Golden, Colorado and this goes at 5.7% alcohol by volume. Last but not least, I have Pumpkin by Southern Tier. They are located in Lakewood, New York, and this goes at 8.6% alcohol by volume. So I'm gonna go ahead and open these and do a comparison of all their tastes and see which one is the best out of these five. Collect those bottle caps. I'm getting five, well, four new ones today, I guess. I can smell the alcohol already. And this one's not as fun. Got some nicely themed cups here with little skeletons on it for the Halloween. Well, whoa. whoa. There's too many. Uh. So as I'm pouring these, the aroma isn't as pumpkin-y as I thought. It just smells like pure alcohol right now. <laughs> it's okay that pumpkin is a seasonal beer. You're allowed to like it. It doesn't make you hipster. Right away, this one smells citrusy. This is an Oktoberfest beer, so it's not technically pumpkin, but I just wanted to throw something in there to kind of change up the taste. Ooh, I likey that one. Very smooth, refreshing. You get a little bit of spice off that too. So I can definitely smell pumpkin. Whoa, wee. That one hit you. There it be. This one is very potent, I want to say. Okay, on to the boulevard. Now this one is a sour. Yep, and you can tell. It has a slight pumpkin in it, but you really get that tart bitterness. It's a nice switch up to what you usually have from just a plain old spice pumpkin. Okay, on to the blue moon. I plop this in here. Here we go. That just tastes like any other ordinary domestic malty beer. Yeah, we'll just move on. Pumpkin. Hmm. I've read reviews on this that people say it's not as good as it used to be, that they're slowly going downhill with their flavor. I kind of have to agree. It smells like old cheap cereal. I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's not very good either. I'm kind of disappointed because Southern Tier is kind of like my home beer that I started on, but you know, you got to branch out and do other things. Okay, I, I'm really liking Spooky Tooth by uh, Fatheads because it's very complex in its flavor. You kind of get a pie crust. So it's like a pumpkin pie in a drink. This is hard. This is a hard one, guys. I'm telling you what, I'm just gonna have to keep drinking these till they're gone. Ugh, yeah, that's, that's not good. Ooh, mmm. Blue Moon and the Pumpkin are kind of tied for last. I mean, that's how bad that Southern Tier is going down the drain with their Pumpkin. All right, now it's between these three, and I'm gonna try to decide which one I think is the winner of these five pumpkin beers for this week. I'm gonna have to put this one in third, actually. I think I've made my decision on the sour. Since I am doing pumpkin beers, I have to give it to Spooky Tooth from Fatheads just because this Ryan Guy's beer is really good, but it's just not in the pumpkin category. I think that's gonna make my final decision in last place, the Blue Moon Harvest Pumpkin. It's a good beer if you just are out and about and wanna feel festive, but if you're looking for an actually good tasting beer, I probably wouldn't go out and buy this if I was at the bar. Fourth place is Pumpkin by Southern Tier. I used to really like this beer a long time ago. It just a very weird taste. It, it honestly tastes like a candle. Like it's really bad. Third place, I decided to go with Boulevard's Funky Pumpkin. It is a sour beer. It is a very good mixture of tart and pumpkin. So third place definitely goes with this. In second place, even though it's technically not a pumpkin beer, I chose Franz from Rheingeist. It's smooth, it's delicious. I mean, this is an easy sipping beer. And in first place is Spooky Tooth from Fatheads. I know I said in a previous video when I I did a Fatheads review that they really have not made a beer that I don't like. So that's kind of why I chose this. You get the pumpkin, you taste the carbonation, you get spices. I mean, it's just filled with flavor. I mean, you, you don't get any of these flavors from any of these other beers. 
It's not even the beginning. There are so many pumpkin beers out there, and it's so hard to review all of them. This is only part one of October pumpkin beer. Last week, I mentioned that I was going to go see Joe Rogan, and I actually got a picture with him. So here's that. I got to touch him. He is literally a short brick wall. It was insane. So it was awesome. He put on a great show. This week and weekend is homecoming here in Athens, Ohio. So lots of people, lots of things to do, activities, whatever. I'm just ready for Halloween already. I need to get here. Homecoming's fine but I'm ready for the block party. Tomorrow, Callie and I will be bottling our beer that we made last week. Hopefully it tastes okay because it wasn't bubbling the way it should, but you know, it was our first try, whatever. We did our best. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Make sure you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I post new videos every Friday and remember, life is too short to drink bad beer.